Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is video number four when it comes to building our Ruby on Rails API with a React front end. So in this video, what we're going to do is we made the API, it's all good to go. Um, so we're going to deploy it. There's a few things we do need to do. Um, I do need to update the database part. So before we do anything, let's go do that. So I'm going to go to configs database.yaml because when we deploy to Heroku, it's going to use production, but it's going to want to use this as the way it connects. So basically what you're doing is you're going to replace all this with that. Okay. Cause that way it's going to look for database URL as a variable to pull the database information. And that's it. That's all I need to do there. Now it's just a matter of getting this to GitHub. So I'm going to just do a git init in the backend folder git add dot git come in and again I'm doing this in the back end folder the parent folder uh, the project folder should not be a git repo because the front end is going to be a separate repository um, that will deploy so git commit dash m first commit okay and then I'm gonna head over to github.com okay Okay, and we'll just call this Rails React Notes Backend. Ruby on Rails API for notes. And then we can hit create repository. I will then just com copy this line right here. That's all I really need. I already have committed and all that stuff. I have my repository all set to go. I'm going to copy that. Go over here. Nope, that's the wrong project. Green one. And then I'm going to hit paste. Enter. Just to make sure that the remote got added, I can do git remote dash v. And I can see, hey, look, now I have that origin remote added. So now I can do git push origin master. Cool. Okay, so that's all set to go. Now the next step is to go get this to Heroku. So I'm going to head over to heroku.com. Okay, and create a new project. We'll call this React Rails. I'll put my initials because again, each thing is always unique. React Rails backend. Okay, create app. I'm going to connect this via GitHub. So I go to GitHub and I'm going to do a search for React Rails. I should find my repo. I'll just do backend. Mm, what do we call it? Rails React. Okay, so let's do that. Rails. React. Okay, there it is. So I'll I connect that. So that repo is now connected to this. And now I want to enable automatic deploys of the master branch for any future changes. And then I'm going to do an initial deploy right here. And now that's going to deploy. And let's see here. Okay, let's see what I, what I complained about. Bundle deployment. Okay, running bundle without development test. Okay, some properly formatted bin stubs detected in your project. The following files have to appear with a problematic shebang. Oh, okay, I know what this is asking about. This is always a weird issue. For some reason, my Ruby on Rails, when my Ruby on Rails installs, it always does this. Let me see if I remember where this is located at. I think it's in the bin folder. I go to the bin, I think it's in bundle. And yeah, it's right here, so it should be if I remember correctly, what I need to do is just get rid of the 2.7. Let me just double check the other ones. Yeah, see all the other ones are just Ruby. For some reason for bundle, it always includes the 2.7 and that's what breaks it. Okay, so I'm going to do another push. I'm going to use my cool custom command that I made. Pushy fixed bin stub. And then I'm pushing it to origin master. Cool. That's a special 
bash function I made that actually does it does the whole git add, git commit, and then git push for me all in one command. Very nice. So let's watch it deploy. Okay, so it's building. Let's watch it progress. Okay, so now it looks like it's working a little bit better. So again, once it sees a gem file, and again, make sure your repo looks like this. That's another, so your, your GitHub repo should look like this. So notice at the top level of my repo, I see the gem file and all that stuff. So it's not like I open this up and there's a folder and then my Rails project inside of there. For this to work, this has got to be how your repo looks like, okay? So again, that's why it's important that you made the repo in the backend folder, the root folder of the backend API, not in that parent folder. Now let's see how this is doing. Okay, it looks like that's all being successful. Okay, good. Now it's still not gonna work. So if I go over here, I open app, it should, I think break, yep. Um, the reason being is that we have to run our migration. So first let me just make sure that a database got provisioned. So I'll go to database. So luckily Heroku smart and picked up that I needed a Postgres database and set it up for me. Let me just make sure that I make the config variable. Okay, so database, database URL, so it creates the variable. So that's all good. So really all I gotta do is is uh, migrate this database. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do it over here. I'm going to clear the terminal. Now in order to run those commands, the problem is I can, right now I'm in my terminal for my machine. So I wanna run commands on Heroku. So what you do is you do git run, no, not git Heroku run bash. And this is assuming you have the Heroku CLI installed. If you don't have the Heroku CLI installed, you need to install it. You can double check to see if you do by doing Heroku-V, and then you can see the version number of your Heroku CLI. Okay, I have it, I'm logged in, and then technically once you have it set up, you have to do Heroku login, log in, and then you can use it. But I'm going to use Heroku run bash, but I have to specify what app I'm using it for, so app equals am, I think it was a, what did I call it? Uh, am react rails backend am react rails backend oh it's going to the green am react rails backend is the name of the app now this basically is going to run bash on the heroku server so that way i can pass commands to my project so there we go so now i'm on bash so i can see the dollar sign i see the little insertion point and i can just run my normal rails command so i'm going to do rails db migrate And then hopefully that's successful. And if so, we should be uh, ready to go. Good. Okay, so that looks good. I don't see any errors in there. Just read through this. That looks good. Streaming version. Yeah, okay, so that looked like it was all successful. So in that case, we sh the API should be ready to go. So I can just type in, I think it's exit. And that should exit. Yep, and that exits the bash. Cool. So now my API is up and deployed. Let's test it out. So I just need to get the URL. So I hit open app here. Okay, this there's no page there because we never created a root route. Okay. But let's see here. Let's do this. Put this URL here. Nope. Control C, Control V. Okay, first we need to log in. Oh, well, first we have to actually create a user. So I should actually probably seed my database first too. So that way there's that test user. Or I can try to create a user. What's the route for creating a user again? Let's see here. Routes, config routes. To create a user, it's User login. Oh, it's just a normal create route. Okay, so in that case, it should just be Heroku app users. And then I just make a post request to users. And I should be able to create a user with a username. 
test password test and again our user model had an age so let's include that age 35 so we make that post okay so good the user was created there is our token good um, okay so now let's try to create a note so notes slash and then we add the uh, token in the header okay and then let's go back to body and again title title hello body cheese there we go and let's see if this successfully creates a note yep it did let's do hello too Hello three, hello four. Okay, let's grab that ID number, which is four. So we just add four at the end. Let's do update and change this to 4.2. Okay, that edited it. And then let's see what happens if we delete it. So now when I do a get, I should only be getting back one, two, and three. And I get one, two, and three. Good. So we our API is fully functioning and deployed. So you've just deployed an API created with Ruby on Rails. So we're done with Ruby on Rails for now. In the next bunch of videos, we'll be moving over to our React project and getting that uh, up and running. So in the meantime, I will see you guys later on. But basically, you have successfully deployed a Ruby on Rails application. Congrats. I'll see you guys again. Make sure to join the Slack and Discord community over there at deafnursery.com. And subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, share it with your friends, and all that good stuff. You guys have a great day and enjoy.